Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games, and I am finally back with the highly anticipated second unboxing video of the Table of Ultimate Gaming. So let me catch you up. In the meantime, between that video, the first video, and this video, um, I have received my replacement mat, which I have here, um, my tabletops, which I didn't do an unboxing, I just got those the other day. So a couple days ago, I got the tabletops. About a week before that, I got the replacement mat, and today I finally got my cup holders, which you can see I have not unboxed yet. So, we're going to do all that. I'm going to show you the tabletops. I'm going to show you the tabletops where they go. I'm going to show you the mat. Right now, I have this in the deep setting also, which I did a long time ago. I, the original video, I had it in the shallow setting. I switched it to the deep setting, thinking that that would help my mat lay out and flatten out. It didn't help my map flatten out um, and so I decided well I'm just gonna leave it in the deep setting so when I get my new mat I'll be able to drop it down afterwards um, but it'll be easier to put the mat in so that's where it's at in the deep setting um, personal preference I've decided that I like the shallow setting better um, I'll show you a couple reasons why also in this video I'm gonna answer a lot of questions that you guys have asked me in my other videos about like um, how the reach is on the table and things like that. I'm gonna try to get a couple friends over from the game group so we can kind of show you where things are and, and how we reach them and things like that. So first things first, I wanna open this box up and take a look. While I'm doing that, I just want to thank everyone uh, who watched the first video. It has, I think, like 3,000, maybe more views. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the questions and stuff. I've answered them as best I could. Um, so let's get in here. Don't want this to get on my table, so I'm going to try to do that. So we got our cup holder. Um, it was packed well. It has lots of styrofoam, styrofoam top. So it was packed in there very, very tight. I think that's everything, but we'll see once I open this. So, set that back there. Um, it's packed in this as well. So, as to not get scratched up. That was everything inside there. The metal cup is packed inside some paper to keep it nice. So everything is very nicely packed. Um, we have the little dice tray mat in here. And this is our piece that holds it in. So let's take this cup out for now. This slides over this lip. And this guy goes in just like that. Sits down on there. It's on there pretty tight. Um, the cup goes in there. It will slide as long as there's some wooden things over here that it won't slide past. Obviously, your braces. Um, so look, oh no, won't fit. Take this cup out. Got my nice Indy 11 cup. Fits. So another thing I'm going to do in this video is going to be the cup holder challenge. So I'm going to get as many strange cups as I can get. We're going to line them up and we're going to see just how many of them we can fit into this cup holder. This is fantastic. Delicious. Go 11. Love Indy 11. Um, the dice tray is nice. The holder is nice. So you just pop this cup out. So I'm going to unpack and get all of these positioned on here um, and then I'll just keep moving around, showing you new things, and we'll go through this video. All right, so I've repositioned the camera. It's not great lighting, but we're underneath the table, so you got to kind of expect that. Here are the tabletops, or one of the sections of tabletop. You can see it sticks out, oh, about a fingertip length. That's so you don't lose it back in there. But the tabletop slides out, so you can use it as a desk. Um, I have mine positioned underneath the cup holders, uh, or the cup holders technically positioned over the top of these. So I can set like instruction books or, um, you know, a snack or whatever 
over here off to the side. Still gives me plenty of position, you won't be able to see my face, but you can kind of see if I'm sitting in my chair playing my game, I can still access whatever I need. My cup is here, my little dice tray thing is here. Um, slides in, slides out. Comes all the way out. You do have to have a little bit of uh, room between your table and the wall so you can get these things in and out of here. And the other thing I want to show is one of the tabletops will have this piece right here. So you can pop your finger in there and then pull this out so that way your tabletops can come out when you put them on top, which I'll show you in a little bit. One thing you want to remember when you're putting this back in though is don't put that upside down because that falls out and it'll hit and get stuck there. So flip this guy up and slide it perfectly into those little slots right there. So that's one tabletop. This is on the long side. So I'm gonna flip this around and kind of show you what it looks like on the short side because you have a lot less uh, space there. So here we are on the short side. You can see we've got our power plugged in. My power, and I'll show you guys maybe underneath a little bit later, but this is the power cord from the other side because I didn't want two power cords. One thing that I really wish uh, would have been done is just both power cords ran off of one cord. Um, I know the drawback would have been, you know, kind of where to put it, but since I put my cords in myself, I feel like uh, I would have been able to choose that. So I didn't want cords running all over the place, so I have one cord that runs down off a corner to an outlet. Uh, the other cord runs around underneath the table, it is pinned up, and then it comes out and plugs into this one, and then it goes down to there. So, anyway, I have our, we have our short side here, we have our cup holder, we have our desk. So you can see, if I'm sitting here, and I gotta get over here nice and cozy, reposition. There we go. So, this could hit my chair. Um, for me, I, I'm a smaller guy, so I can actually fit in here all right, and it doesn't bother me too bad. Um, you also don't have to pull it out super far, it depends on what you're sitting on it. But on the short side, you can see you have considerably less room than you do on the long side. So that's also something that you might want to think about as to where you're sitting or what you would even use these, I guess, for. So if all four players are wanting to use them, you might want to consider the 4x6 table instead of the 3x5 table. Here's just another angle to look at. So the table or the chair is pretty well centered. It is shoved in and you can see that this bumps into it. So like I said, if you're looking to use that all the time, not that we haven't, we have had all four players using it, but if you're looking to use it all the time, you may want to consider the 4x6 uh, table because you're going to get those extra, uh, that extra foot. So now let's take and put the tabletops in and see what it looks like. Um, one thing that you're probably gonna need that doesn't store inside the table is this. This is our brace, uh, the bar on the deep setting as I have it now, it's just like that. On the shallow setting, it actually lays on its side and fits in like that. So it's really cool the design of this bar to fit on both settings. So we're gonna go like that and we're gonna show you how these pull out. The other question that I see online a lot, does this fit in with the cup holders? I don't think it does, but we're gonna find out. So immediately I'm getting hit on this cup holder here. So the answer to that is no, these don't fit in with the cup holders. So I'm gonna pull these cup holders out. First thing I'm gonna do is get my drink out so I don't drop it. I'm gonna pull these cup holders out and I pushed them in there pretty hard so there we go pop that out slides right over the top of the cup holders on the deep setting that's pretty nice 
here is our piece with the little button in it. So depending on where you want that to be, you might put that on a corner or something. And again, you gotta see how much room you need. I have to push the chair back this big to be able to get that out, so. There's that. Now, some of my pieces, you can probably see me rubbing on them here. They look like they're scratched up. Um, they came like that. They're not actually scratched up. They're, it's just glue. And again, it doesn't look like it at first, but if you get a rag and some cleaner and wipe pretty hard, it comes right off. So, um, I know a lot of people are saying that theirs are scratched. Sure you're gonna have some scuff marks on it from here uh, I mean from your own natural use but right now it looks to be just some glue residue that I need to get knocked off of there so that is the table with the tabletops and now it's time for the cup challenge so let's take a look I got a whole bunch of different cups here um, Pretty much the weirdest thing is I could find in my cabinets I brought down and some normal stuff too. So we know the big cup already fit in there. Um, I don't have any like big styrofoam cup from like a gas station or a fast food joint, but that uh, Indy 11 cup is a big event cup. So it's about those sizes. Um, I believe those would fit. So the first thing I have here, hot box pizza cup. Again, pop the tray, fits perfectly. Set the tray there. So, no issue, that's a pass. Bottle. So, I have a beer bottle or something here um, that my friend left, but a soda bottle, beer bottle, same thing. Put the tray in, perfect, fits. So that's a pass as well. I set that guy over there because it's still got, it's still cold. Um, we got a weird shaped Corel coffee mug. So coffee drinkers, fits right there. Got the little notch to hold your handle. So teeny bit wobbly, but not wobbly enough it would spill. Let's see what happens if I put the tray in. It's actually a little bit sturdier, so try that as you will. I'm sure a round coffee cup or a different type of handle might hold a little bit more. We'll come back to that later. So I'm gonna give this one a pass as well. Uh, sorry, wine drinkers. That's probably the other thing that you might be drinking. Uh, while playing games, I don't drink wine. Um, technically, I don't drink beer either, but it was here and left over, so I thought I'd try it. Unfortunately, I don't have a wine glass. What I do have are some goblets. Parts of the Caribbean goblet. So that with the tray goes in. Fits. Sticks. Without the tray, also fits. So if you have a giant goblet, that'll work. Now let's try a weird shaped goblet. All the way through, no pass. Tray in, no pass. No Twilight Zone Tower of Terror goblets on the table of Ultimate Gaming. Sorry, you are no good. We'll put you off to this side. You're going on the floor for not being any good. Now, we have a metal cup, coffee cup. I drink tea out of it. It fits, it goes in there, but it is pretty wobbly. Um, you could definitely not have a full glass with this. You could do it, but not a full glass, I don't think. So uh, I'm gonna put this one as a maybe. I'm gonna put maybes over there. Depends on how brave you are. I have a mason jar uh, with a handle. So we're gonna pull the, that out. Mason jar with a handle, I, I would do it. 
It's a little bit teeny bit wobbly, but not too bad. Put that back in. If that makes it a little more wobbly, I'd pull this out, but I'm passing the mason jar. Now let's try a mason jar without a handle. Uh, I don't like it in the, in the tray. I don't like it there at all because it falls all the way through. I don't think so. It's a little bit wobbly, but I'm gonna say no on that one. I don't like it. I wouldn't do it. We've got a glass, a square with rounded corners glass for whiskey, whiskey glass. Uh, pretty wobbly. I'd probably do it. It's not perfect, but it seems like it would survive. A little tiny weird glass with the tray. This glass has feet on it too, so it makes it a little wobbly, but I'd say that's a pass. Looks pretty good. And finally, my, my teacup. The Alice in Wonderland triple, triple cup with the handle. strangest cup I could find in my house. Um, I actually, with the tray, it sits level and it's not too bad. It won't spill. I'm going to, believe it or not, I'm going to pass this cup. The cup that I did not think that would go. So I brought down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cups. I gave eight of them a pass. So we're 80%. I gave one of them, oh, I forgot that bottle. So nine of them a pass, nine of 11. Uh, I gave one of them a so-so. I gave one of them an absolute no, and one of them a, I wouldn't do it, but uh, it could be done with the mason jar with the thing. So pretty good work for this design and this cup holder. Um, and I mean, how hard is it to just get a cup that fits it? Like I said, I was going through looking for weird cups and actually 12 because I forgot my big ND11 cup over there. Any normal size cup, any normal cup will fit this. You just pop the tray out. It's going to pop right in there and it's going to hold it. So um, your fast food cups, your bottles are most likely what you're going to be drinking out of this. So I'd say 90% of the time, whatever cup that you or your company has, it's going to fit. So I'm very pleased and happy with the design of this cup holder. I love the tray that pops in and out, pops in and out, super easy. Uh, easy design. I like the dice tray. I'm gonna get some dice, we're gonna roll that in here a little bit later and uh, when we're showing you the reach and stuff like that. So for now, I think I have shown you everything um, Except for the deep setting and the shallow setting, I'll show you guys that a little bit later when I get ready to move it to the shallow setting. I'll show the deep setting um, and then we'll try to get some gameplay on it. So I want to do some uh, gameplay on the deep setting, then I'll switch to gameplay on the shallow setting and show you why I personally prefer the shallow setting. But it depends on what kind of game you're playing. Uh, you may decide the deep setting is better for you. All right. so. You can see Justin and I are sitting here. We're playing Bad Doctor. Um, a lot of people have asked me about the reach on the table. Uh, we are sitting on the short sides. We're both tall. I'm six foot. How tall are you? I six foot three inches. Six three. Uh, we both have fairly long arms, so you can see I can reach out there. He can reach to about there. Um, if you're sitting on the ends, however, it is a lot more difficult because you have the, the long side. Um, I can tell you that, uh, like especially Justin's wife, always sits in a taller, a bar stool chair because it just feels just feels better to her to reach. Um, and my wife always is on the short side because she doesn't want to sit on the long side and try to reach. Um, you can see this is kind of in the middle of my chest here. I'm sunk down a teeny bit in this chair, but a normal chair, it's pretty low or pretty high on Justin as well. So in a little bit, I'm going to sink this down and kind of show you guys the difference in this deep. The other thing about the deep, so um, I'll move the camera. I'm going to get shadows and noise and stuff from me touching the camera. Sorry about you. But here's my view right now of my player. And underneath here, so I could lose stuff under there. 
which sometimes I do. So especially on like a dice rolling game or something, that's why I don't particularly uh, enjoy the high or the deep setting because you have such a big lip here that I often lose my pieces underneath. So that's also that's why I do believe Rose sits in a bar tool. Bar stool so she can sit up higher and see down because of the deep setting. So I'll get that changed over here soon and you guys can see the difference. We just finished a game of Kanagawa. As you can see now the table is lowered. It looks a lot smaller, although the table size is exactly the same. It's just you don't have this I don't know, what is that, about a three quarter inch uh, underneath. But yeah. things don't go under it now, which is nice that I enjoy. The reach is much easier, so we can reach out a lot further. Um, instead of being in like the middle of my chest up here, it's down like underneath my ribs. Um, I didn't raise or lower my chair since we've been sitting here or since the other shot. So. Um, you can see everything. It's still it's still a long reach. Um, so, you know, if you don't have long arms, uh, there's that. If you, like I said earlier, if you're looking for a lot bigger um, table space, because this does, there are a few games that, that press this for table space. Dinosaur Island is one. Um, at four players, you're pretty much maxed out on the table. Um, so I don't know what... To, what am I going to do when I get the fifth player expansion? But there's a few games that really push the limits. Rising Sun's pretty close. The cool thing um, that I do like is I use the rails a lot. So even for Rising Sun, like we'll play, but I'll put monsters up on the rails or something like that. So uh, it works out pretty well there. Even with the slide outs here, it's going to open up a little bit more. Yeah, the slide too, outs so. open up a ton more because um, people set their phones off, especially the drinks. The drinks are off here, which I know I was doing no-no before, but I had my drinks up on the rails uh, or on a little table beside it. But um, so far, so get good. I did get my replacement mat. I think I talked about that, but you can see it's flat. It's great. There's a little bit of curl up on the ends from the tube, but the table sitting down sits down on it, flattens it out. It's perfect now. So um, I'm going to switch the camera around because I got some other questions about like how many people could sit on the side of a table. So I'm going to move over there and we're going to film and I'll show you that we can both sit over there. This is two guys sitting on the side of the table. Uh, we have room down here. I did put two cup holders on, which you can see are underneath us. There's no way to scoot these out any further. Um, there is a, a piece of wood right here that stops it. So you can't go out any further to the corner. The reason for that is because it would just fall right off the table. So um, it can't go out any further. So that's as far as you can. Um, there's no way we could use the table slide out because that would just ram right into Justin. There's no way to get that out of there. Um, but if you're not worried about that, I mean, we could easily do two cup holders on this side. I say we could easily do that. Slide it down. There we go. So I could do two cup holders down here, side by side. Um, then we have plenty of room to play. The person over here, maybe not so much. I don't, I don't know. Who cares about the people on the end, right? Yeah, who cares about them? <laughs> so I don't know if that answers another question. I, again, I get a lot of questions in the first video, so I'm doing my best to try to answer those. Um, That's what? Four. 48 inch play space? Uh, I don't know. That's another question. So maybe I'll go get a uh, I'll go get a ruler and we'll come back. So we're back with a yardstick. Good old metal yardstick. Um, we measured this at about 39. Yeah, 39 by From eight. here to here and 57 from here to to there so 39 inches 57 inches that's not counting the lip that's not counting the rails uh, that would add more but it's not technically a place surface so hope that answers that question uh, I am gonna really quick measure the height of our chairs just to see what they are so it's like just higher than 17 inches tall chairs that we're sitting on here so hopefully that answers all of the questions. 
Um, the only thing that I haven't shown you guys yet is the underneath of the way I wired the wires through. So I'll show you that here in just a second and then we'll wrap this unboxing number two video up. I'm underneath the table to try to show you where this goes. I will tell you that I'm doing this freehand. So, and I'm holding the camera, so it's probably going to be shaky and it's going to be noisy. So I apologize, but here's where, and I'm using my phone as a light. Here's where the plug-in comes in. I put these like 3M clips and I ran it this way. You can see the table top is here. So if it was, uh, let's see if I can slide this out from underneath. So that's the table top. You can see this goes underneath and does not affect it. a lot more difficult than it appeared okay so anyways there is uh, that and let's get under here so there is more of these clips I have a zip tied wire uh, to shorten it up goes around still underneath the tabletops and around and then I have to go on the outside but it just plugs in Sorry. Ah, here we go. And it just plugs in. And yes, it takes one of my outlets away, um, but I'm okay with that for the time being. And then I just run it down and over to the wall. Well, everybody, that's it. That's Table of Ultimate Gaming unboxing number two. So. That is everything that I wanted to show you or, or thought about showing you um, for now. So please, just like before, leave me comments. I'll try to, you know, if I need to do another follow-up video, I will. Uh, I know I haven't done as many videos um, recently. Reason being, I am doing Saltier Games, which is S-A-L-T-I-R-E Games channel as well. So please follow that channel in addition to my channel. Um, where we do a lot of cool giveaways and unboxings. We have um, publishers, designers coming on, um, and they do giveaways, and, and we do a lot of cool stuff on that channel. So check that channel out. You guys will enjoy it as well. Um, just happy with my table. I'm pleased. Everything took a little bit longer to get than anticipated, as you probably tell from the first video when I said it'd be a month. Um, and it's been several months. However, um, I did get this stuff probably about a month ago. Um, everything else was filmed previously, except getting underneath the table, which I just filmed today. The reason was um, I had a, a hip injury and I was not getting up and down so well. So um, now I'm feeling better. So I wanted to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope that answered all your questions. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. As always, Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Stork Plays Games. Like I said, follow Saltier Games, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube especially. Um, and come play a game with me. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.